easiest way to stick two pieces of metal together. Done with a $59 Amazon welder. Or drill. Or maybe the welder can be used as a drill. So one reason why I picked this up was not for the manual. Pass. Was this machine is an out of the box welding machine. We should have everything we need here to get started in welding. And I think I do see, oh, the, your favorite chipping hammer right here on the side. Oh, I love these things. Sweet welder. J422 rod, exactly what I was expecting. I just can't, I have no clue what the J422 means. And there you have it. Legitimately can weld right out of the box with nothing else. Would I suggest doing it? No. First of all, you only get one rod, so don't mess up there. And then the second thing I would for sure pick up is an auto darkening helmet. I'll go over more of that in just a minute. But first of all, let's talk about it's a 120 amp stick welder. And we are, you know, being a stick welder, this is as basic as you can get. It's only 110 volt, except I did notice back here, it does say uh, 110 or 220 AC. So I'll have to see if I have an adapter and we'll maybe blow something up later on. Okay. You're good on 220. And the cord length is only about four feet. Four foot ground connection. I do like the braided uh, banding that's got. And then you got a six foot electro holder. The top part isn't even copper, just the base is, but we're talking about like the introductory type machine. This is what is going to get you into the door for welding. Uh, it's pretty much just a, you find the little groove, you push in and twist, and that's locked in there good. The electrode up to the positive terminal, give it a little twist and you are set. What can it weld? It says cast iron, steel, 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 or stainless steel. Now let me stop you right there. I guarantee you've probably Googled, how do you stick weld cast or aluminum? And can you do that with a stick welder? Yes. If you are brand new to welding, forget about the, any material other than steel. And if you can stick weld aluminum, then I don't know why you're watching this video. Also great for family DIY projects. I'm the DIY pro, so how could I pass this up? As far as the capacity or how thick of a material you can do, it doesn't really say. It just says it's meant for 16th or 332nd inch rods. Well, here's my rule of thumb. For a machine this size, which can only output about 120 amps, I would say 3 16ths is thickness is your max. So this eighth inch plate, yes, you're golden. This big old 3 8 inch plate, no. This angle, you're not gonna get uh, a good penetrating weld. Let's get into some of these other things that you will want before you actually start welding more than just your one little tack weld. Kid, an auto darkening helmet. They got tons of them on Amazon at Harbor Freight. It doesn't need to be an expensive one. Just make sure it's an auto darkening helmet. I'm also getting a welding jacket and some realistic gloves because I've got tender hands. So I'm gonna finish off that J-Rod that it gave to us. I'll just make one more pass here. And then we are going to be switching it up. I've got some 6013 332nd inch rod. Um, no adjustments to hot start or arc force, but thus far, really no need. It, it did strike up an arc pretty quickly and it is running good and smooth. Kicking up the amperage a little bit and doing a 7018 rod. Now, even though it doesn't say it can do an eighth inch, I'm curious to see if it can. So let's kick up that amperage even more. And this is another 7018 eighth inch rod. Can you really dig weld with a machine this cheap? Yes. Now you're gonna be spending a lot more in the TIG torch and your gas than probably even twice as much as what this machine cost you, but it can be done. You will need a manual valve TIG torch just check the link in the descriptions, some tungsten and 100% argon. Now this is a scratch style arc, so you'll actually see me strike the metal to create that arc. And then once that puddle is forming, you can start moving and add your filler material. 
no high frequency start, no amperage control, but as mentioned before, this is an introduction type welder. Hey, it works. I'm DIY Pro. See you next time.